Hello Internet. So this week we're cracking open a booster box of Yu-Gi-Oh's Extreme Force expansion. Uh, not much to say. Once again, bit of a lull just because no new uh, product out really for Flesh and Blood or Yu-Gi-Oh until uh, I believe uh, April 16th is when the uh, Ghost from the Past uh, set is coming out for Yu-Gi-Oh. So I should have uh, a video actually up on time for that uh, as opposed to being a week late for that, so I'll get this cracked open and we'll get right into it. And we're back. So, once again, we'll just get right into it. I said we'll get right into it. There we go. And so we have Kudo Obi Karate Spirit. Monster in a pendulum is pendulum summoned. Return this card from the pendulum zone to the hand. And when this card is normal summoned, you can send to the graveyard all spells or traps your opponent controls on the same column as the cards in your pendulum zones. Once per turn during the end phase, if this card was normal summoned or flip face up this turn, return this card to the hand. Hmm, I mean, that seems uh, decent enough. Link hole. If you control a Link 4 or higher monster, destroy monsters your opponent controls up to the number of Link 3 or higher monsters you control. You can only activate one Link Hole per turn. Hmm. Mech Knight Orange Sunset. If two or more cards are in the same column, you can special summon this card from your hand in that column. You can only special summon Mech Knight Orange Sunset once per turn this way. If an opponent's card in this column card's column is destroyed by battle or leaves the field, you can special summon one Mech Knight monster from your hand. I mean, it's not too hard to actually get out, so that's not bad. Col uh, column switch. Target one monster in your mo main monster zone. Move that target to another of your main monster zones. Vendred Revolution. Discard one card, then target one Vendred monster and one ritual spell in your graveyard. Special summon that monster in defense position, and if you do, add the ritual monster to your hand. You can banish this card from your graveyard, target five of your banished zombie monsters, shuffle them into your deck, then draw one card. You can only use each effect once per turn. Hmm, I mean that doesn't seem uh, too bad overall. Vendred Charge. Save one monster from your hand or face up from your field to the graveyard. Special summon one Vendred monster from your deck. You can only activate one Vendred Charge per turn. Tindangle Base Gardna. If you control a face-down defense position monster, you can special summon this card from your hand in defense position. Fair enough. You can only special summon uh, this card once per turn this way. If a monster is normal or link summoned, and that now pointed to by an opponent's link monster, except during the damage step, you can tribute this card, special summon one Tindango monster from your hand or deck in attack position or face-down defense position. If a monster is normal or special summoned and now pointed to by an opponent's link monster, you can special summon... Huh. That's a very interesting uh, counter link card. Euler Circuit. Your opponent's monsters cannot attack if you control three or more Tindangle monsters once per turn. During your standby phase, you can target one Tindangle monster you control. Yeah, it does say Tindangle. Okay, I'm actually pronouncing that right, I think. Give control of it to your opponent. You can banish this card from your graveyard and discard one Tindangle card. Add one Euler Circuit from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. I'm wondering if it's supposed to be a reference to uh, the Hounds of Tindalos from H.P. Lovecraft, just considering the... Uh, shape of it, and it's, all of the artwork seems to be dealing with uh, angles. We have Mech Knight Green Horizon. If two or more cards are in the same column, you can special summon this card in that column. You can only special summon Mech Knight Green Horizon once per turn this way. When an attack is declared involving this card and an opponent's monster in this card's column, you can target one Mech Knight monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. I mean, once again, fairly easy to uh, bring out. Decent effect. So. Oh, 
we have Mahjong Munia Maidens. Flip, you can draw one card, then discard one card. Once per turn, you can change this card to face down defense position. I mean, decent defense, good for uh, getting cards into your hand, getting them into the discard, so. Oh, well, this answers whether it was supposed to be a reference to the Hounds of Tindalos. Tindangle Hound. Flip, you can target one other face-up monster on the field. This card gains attack equal to that target's original attack. Then change that target to face down defense position. Each monster your opponent controls lose 1,000 attack for each monster linked to it. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effects and sent to the graveyard, you can target one face down monster on the field, change it to face up defense position. Huh. You have Nagel's Protection. Tindangle monsters in your main monster zones cannot be destroyed by battle on your opponent's or your opponent's card effects. Once per turn, if your Tindango monster inflicts battle damage to your opponent, the damage is doubled. You can banish this card from your graveyard and discard one Tindango card, add one Nagel's Protection from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. I mean, not a bad card. Zephra Metaltron. Requires two monster special two or more monster special summoned from the extra deck. Oof. If a monster this card points to that was special summoned from the extra deck is destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect, add one monster from your graveyard or one face up pendulum monster from your extra deck to your hand. You can target one monster on each player's field that was special summoned from the extra deck except this card. Banish both until the end phase. Hmm. I mean, that seems like a uh, decent enough card. Desmanian Devil. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can add one level 4 lower beast monster from your deck to your hand. I mean, fair enough. Underclock Taker. Once per turn, you can target one face-up monster this card points to, and one face-up monster your opponent controls. The opponent's target loses attack equal to the attack of the target this monster points to until the end of this turn. Huh. Link Belt Wall Dragon. Just a moment. Okay, let's try that again. So we have Link Belt Wall Dragon. Cannot be normal summoned or set. Must be special summoned by its own effect. When you Link Summon, you can special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, place two counters on it. If a monster is Link Summoned, remove two of these counters from this card, or all if less than two. Once per turn during each standby phase, place one of these counters on this card. No monster can be Link Summoned unless this card has at least as many of those counters as that monster's Link rating. Monsters cannot attack except Link monsters. Honestly, not sure how I feel about this one, because, I mean, on the one hand, seems like it's intended to be a uh, floodgate to stop uh, being able to just chain uh, out Link monsters very quickly, but at the same time, I mean, it's stopping everybody from being able to attack. You have to have your own Link monster in order to summon it. I'm honestly not sure what the point of this card is. We have Tindangle Acute Cerberus. It gains 3,000 attack if you have three or more Tindangle monsters with different names in your graveyard, including Tindangle Base Gardna. It gains 500 attack for each Tindangle monster it points to. At the end of the battle phase, if this card declared an attack, you can special summon one Tindangle token. Yeah, so I mean, it's... Zero attack, but very easy to make it uh, 3,000, and then get the extra, uh, very easy to make it 4,000 on top of that, so, I mean, that's not too bad. And Tindangle Protector. Flip, you can control change up to three face-down defense position monsters you control to face-up defense position. Then if all of those monsters are Tindangle monsters, you can add up to that many Tindangle cards from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. Hmm. Honestly, not quite sure how I feel about this one, because you have to be able to flip it up, and, I mean, you have to have uh, three uh, other face-down Tindangle monsters to get the bonus off of it, so, yeah, Not the biggest fan of that one, but, I mean, it, it fits with the rest of them so far. We have... Yokozuna Sumo Spirit. If a monster is pendulum summoned, return this card from the pendulum zone to the hand. 
When this card is normal summoned, you can send to the graveyard all monsters your opponent controls in the same column as the cards in your pendulum zones. Once per turn during game phase, if this card was normal summoned or flipped face up this turn, return this card to the hand. So it's the uh, opposite of the Karate Spirit, basically. Showdown of the Secret Sense Scroll Techniques. When your opponent activates a spell or trap card or monster effect with the same name as a card in their graveyard, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that card. Not sure how good that is. I'm not sure how often uh, people will be running uh, multiples of that you'll be able to uh, really get this off with. We have Stripping Partner. Cannot be normal summoned or set. Must be special summoned by the following effect. If the effect activation of a monster you control is negated, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand. When this card is special summoned, you can target one level 4 or lower Cybers monster in your graveyard, special summon it. You can only use this effect once per turn. I know that hand traps are fairly prevalent, so I could see this being a decent way of getting around them. We have another Mahjong Munia Badens. Power of the Guardians. If an attack is declared involving the equipped monster, place one spell counter on this card. The equipped monster gains 500 attack and and defense for each spell counter on this card. If the equipped monster would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can remove one spell counter from your field instead. This seems uh, pretty good overall. I mean, because you get the bonus as soon as you declare the attack, or uh, uh, your opponent declares the attack you know, gives a decent uh, attack and defense boost, and uh, has built-in protection as well. World Legacy Key. When this card is activated, you can target one of your banished Mech Knight monsters or World Legacy cards, add it to your hand, negate any opponent's trap effect that activates the same column as a Mech Knight monster you control. World Legacy World Shield. Unaffected by if activated effects from any monster special summon from the extra deck, your opponent cannot target your World Legacy cards in the this card's column with card effects. Also, they cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. During the standby phase, if this card is in your graveyard, pay 1,000 life points, special summon this card. Then your opponent can special summon one monster from their hand or graveyard. You can only use this effect once per turn. Not sure quite how I feel about that. I mean, it, it guess if you have a way of making sure that they have no monsters in the graveyard, that'd be pretty good, but... I don't know, you're paying a thousand life points to get a three thousand defense creature and giving your opponent a free creature of their choice. We have Recovery Sorcerer. Quick effect, you can target one Cybers Link monster in your graveyard that was destroyed this turn. Special summon it, but it has every has its effect negated. Also destroy it during the end phase. You can only use this effect once per turn. Hmm. Honestly, not sure how you feel about that one. We have Flick Clown. If you control at least two other Cybers monsters and they have no cards in your hand, you can pay 1,000 life points, draw one card. You can only use this effect once per turn. We have Sign at Refresh. When an opponent's Cybers monster declares an attack, destroy all monsters in the main monster zones. During the end phase of this turn, special summon from the graveyard as many Cybers Link monsters as possible to their owner's fields that were destroyed by this effect. When an opponent's monster activates its effect, you can banish cards from your graveyard. Cybers Link monsters you currently control are unaffected by other card effects until the end of this turn. Hmm. That's interesting. Another Orange Sunset. Another Link Hole. We have Gem Knight Phantom Quartz. If this card is Link Summoned, you can add one Gem Knight card from your deck to your hand. You can pay 1,000 life points. Fusion Summon one Gem Knight Fusion Monster from your extra deck by shuffling Fusion Materials in your possession listed on it into your deck that are banished or in the graveyard but cannot attack directly this turn. Oh, that seems like uh, quite a nice one. And Myst Mystical Bestia Morph. Each time an opponent's monster effect is activated, place one spell counter on this card when that effect resolves. You can send this card with six or more spell counters on it to the graveyard, add one spell from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. Scrambled Egg. 
If a monster you control is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one Sonic chick from your hand, deck, or graveyard. Hmm. We have Parthian shot at the end of the battle phase. It becomes the end phase of this turn. Fair enough. DD Seeker. You can target one face-up monster you control, banish it until the end phase of the next turn. You can only use this effect once per turn. And another base gardener. Bit Trooper. You can send one level 2 or lower monster from your hand to the graveyard. Special summon this card from your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. Uh, Zombino. I mean, good attack, no defense, zombie. Not much more to say. You have Artifact Mjolnir. You can set this card from your hand to your spell and trap zone as a spell. During your opponent's turn, if the set card in the spell and trap zone is destroyed and sent to your graveyard, special summon it. If this card is special summoned during your opponent's turn, target one artifact monster in your graveyard, special summon it in defense position. Also, you cannot special summon monsters until the end of the next turn except artifact monsters. Hmm. I mean, nothing else that's good bait for uh, uh, trap removal, or uh, spell removal I should say. Another sign at refresh, and there can be only one. Each player can only control one monster of each type. If a player controls two or more monsters of the same type, they must send some to the graveyard so they control no more than one monster of that type. World Legacy Whispers. When this card is activated, you can target one level 5 or higher monster on the field. It gains 1000 attack and defense until the end of this turn. Negate any opponent's spell or effect that it activates in the same column as a mech knight monster you control. Hmm. Fire Prison. All Dragon monsters on the field gain 300 defense. If any Link monsters are on the field, neither player can Link summon a Link with a lower Link rating than the highest Link rating on the field. Monsters cannot attack except Link monsters. Apply the following effects while two or more Cybers Link monsters are on the field. Negate the activated effects of Cybers monsters. And Cybers monsters cannot attack, cannot be targeted for attacks, and cannot be targeted by card effects. That's interesting. We have FA City Grand Prix. Increase the levels of all FA monsters on the field by two during the main phase and battle phase. Your opponent cannot target FA monsters you control with card effects. If this face-up card on the field is destroyed by a card effect, you can add one FA card from your deck to your hand, except FA City Grand Prix. You can only use this effect once per turn. And Parallel Port Armor. Target one Link monster you control, equip it with this card. Your opponent cannot target the equipped monster with card effects. Also, it cannot be destroyed by battle. You can banish this card, add two Link monsters from your graveyard. Target one Link monster you control. It can make a second attack during each battle phase this turn. Hmm. I mean, that's not too bad. We have Tindangle Angel. Angel. Flip, you can special summon one flip monster from your hand or graveyard and face down defense position except Tindangle Angel. Angel. Then if it is your opponent's battle phase, end the battle phase. You can only use this effect once per turn. Yeah, that's uh, actually not a bad effect. Another column switch. Watt Kinetic Puppeteer. Quick effect, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard, then target one monster your opponent controls. Move that target to another of their main monster zones. We have a Boot Sector Launch. All rocket monsters on the field gain 300 attack and defense. You can activate one of these effects. Special summon up to two rocket monsters with different names from your hand in defense position. Or if your opponent controls more monsters than you do, Special summon rocket monsters with different names from your graveyard in defense position up to the difference. You can only use this effect once per turn. I mean, that's not too bad. It's, you can either equal to your opponent's stuff, or if you have uh, your opponent only has one, or you're tied, or what have you, you can get more out of it. So that's not bad. We have 
Ritual Beast, Oti Kimu Falkos. Ritual Beast Monsters, this card points to, gains 600 attack and defense. You can banish one Ritual Beast card from your graveyard immediately after this effect resolves. Normal summon one Ritual Beast Monster from your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. Quick effect, you can return this card you control to the extra deck, then target two of your banished monsters. One Ritual Beast Tamer Monster and one Spirit Beast Spiritual Beast Monster. Special summon them into defense position. I mean, that's... Uh, Got some interesting combo potential, at least. We have Boral Cooling. Tribute one Rocket Monster, then target one Boral Link Monster you control. Equip it with this card. If this card is equipped to a monster by this effect, the equipped monster gains this effect. Once per turn, you can target one monster you control. It cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects this turn. I mean, decent enough effect on it, at least. We have another Fire Prism. Another Flick Clown, and another Parallel Port Armor. We have a Tindangle Hound, Column Switch, Nagel's Protection, Tindangle Del... Delaune. When you take battle damage from an opponent's attack monster, while well, you have three or more Tindangle monsters with different names in your graveyard, you can destroy the attacking monster, and if you do, special summon one Tindangle Acute Cerberus from your extra deck. If you control no monsters in the extra monster zone, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target three Tindangle monsters with different names in your graveyard, special summon them in face down defense position. Huh. Certainly interesting. We have Downbeat. Tribute one face-up monster. Special summon from your deck. One monster with the same original type and attribute that the tributed monster had on the field, but one level lower. You can only activate one Downbeat per turn. Not sure uh, how useful uh, this would be overall. We have Metal Rocket Dragon. When a Link Monster's effect is activated that targets this face-up card on the field, Quick effect, you can destroy this card, then destroy all of your opponent's cards in the column this card was in. During the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard because it was destroyed on the field by battle or card effects and sent there this turn, you can special summon one rocket monster from your deck except Metal Rocket Dragon. You can only use each effect once per turn. We have Underclock Taker, Link Belt Wall Dragon, and Tindangle Acute Cerberus. We have Secure Gardener. If this card is special summoned, if you take you take no effect damage for the rest of this turn. Once per turn, if you take battle or effect damage, you take no damage. It cannot be used as link material, and you can only control one secure gardener. I mean it, it's decent enough. If another Yokozuna Sumo Spirit. Call of the Archfiend. Target one level 5 or higher Fiend monster in your graveyard. Discard one Fiend monster, and if you do special summon the targeted monster, you can only use this effect once per turn. You have Altergeist Manifestation. Target one Altergeist monster in your graveyard, special summon it in attack position, and equip it with this card. When this card leaves the field, destroy that monster. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one Altergeist trap in your graveyard, add it to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. Hmm. I have Mech Knight Yellow Star. If two or more cards are in the same column, you can special summon this card from your hand. In that column, you can only special summon one Mech Knight Yellow Star once per turn this way. You can banish one Mech Knight Monster from your graveyard, then target one spell or trap in this card's column, destroy it. So I'm noticing a trend with all of the Mech Knights in this set being uh, two or more cards in the same column. You can special summon this card to the column. Decent stats, though. We have Contact C. 
When your opponent normal or special summons a monster except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand to the opponent's field and defense position. This card's controller cannot fusion, synchro, exceeds, or link summon unless they use this card as material. Huh. I mean, it's certainly decent for uh, if they're uh, going for specific uh, fusions, but at the same time, I mean, if they're going for links, uh, summons or whatnot, I don't see why they wouldn't be able to just use this. I guess because some of them do say specify the cybers and whatnot. We have McKnight Green Horizon, Grappler Angler. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent by a direct attack, you can target one monster in your graveyard, special summon it in defense position. Not sure how often you'd be able to actually uh, get a direct attack off with this, but, I mean, being able to get uh, any, car, uh, any card out of your graveyard for free is uh, not too bad. And Ghost Trick Renovation. Target one Ghost Trick Field Spell in your field zone, return it to the hand, then you can activate one Field Spell from your hand or deck. You can banish this card from your graveyard, target one Ghost Trick Xyz monster you control, special summon it from your extra deck. One Ghost Trick Xyz monster with a different name, by using that target as material. This is a treat as an Xyz summon, transfer its... huh. Okay, that's a pretty decent one. We have Flame Administrator. All Link monsters you control gain 800 attack. You can only control one Flame Administrator. I mean, fair enough. I mean, he basically... Uh, Acts as a 2,000 attack uh, character. We have Tindalo Tindangle Intruder. Flip, you can add one Tindangle card from your deck to your hand. When this card is normal summoned, you can send one Tindangle card from your deck to the graveyard. If a monster is special summoned to your field in face-down defense position while this card is in your graveyard, special summon this card in face-down defense position. This is not optional. You can only use each effect once per turn. Huh. We have FA Test Run. Target one FA monster you control. Change its battle position, then destroy one card on the field. During your main phase, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Target one face-up card you control. Destroy it, and if you do, special summon one FA monster from your deck. You can only use each effect once per turn. We have Call of the Archfiend, Mech Knight Indigo Eclipse. If two or more cards in the same column, special summon this card from your hand in that column. Only use this effect once per turn. Once per turn, quick effect. You can target one Mech Knight monster you control. Move that card, move that target to another of your main monster zones. I mean, I guess that's decent enough for because uh, you'd be able to special summon him out, then move, then use his effect to move him over to a column, bring out another Mech Knight. Mech Knight Red Moon. Two or more cards in the same column. Special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon once per turn this way. You can banish one Mech Knight monster from your graveyard, then target one face-up monster on this card's column. Destroy it. Okay, that's actually uh, quite a nice effect. Another Tindangle Protector. Scramble Egg. And Parthian Shot. Another Tindangle Intruder, Karate Spirit, Flame Administrator, Mech Knight Purple Nightfall. If two or more cards in the same column, you can special summon Mech Knight Purple Nightfall once per turn this way. Quick effect, you can target one Mech Knight monster you control, banish it until the standby phase of your next turn, and if you do, add one Mech Knight monster from your deck to your hand except Purple Nightfall. You can only use this effect once per turn. So, very good for getting out your... Uh, tutoring out uh, whatever uh, mech knights you need and opening up a spot so that you could special summon them and then 
link them away or move them around or what have you. Glory of the Noble Knights. Target one Noble Knight monster you control. Equip it with one equip spell from your deck that can equip to that target. You can only activate one Glory of the Noble Knights per turn. Another World Legacy World Shield. Under Clock Taker. FA Auto Navigator. If this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can target one FA monster you control whose current level is higher than its original level. Special summon this card, and if you do, reduce that target's level by the difference between its current and original levels. And if you do that, this card's, normal level, this card's level becomes equal to the amount reduced. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can add one FA field spell from your deck to your hand. You can only use each effect once per turn. Huh. We have Tindangle Angel, Wat Kinetic Puppeteer, Najang Munia Maidens, Tindangle Hound, Overtex Quilatus. That's apparently a uh, dinosaur. Uh, I'm pretty sure there was no creature out of your uh, nightmares age of... Uh... Maybe it was after the Jurassic Age. Cannot be normal summoned or set. Must be special summoned from your hand by shuffling five of your banished dinosaur monsters into the main deck. Once per turn, when your opponent activates a spell or trap, you can destroy one dinosaur monster in your hand or face up on your field, and if you do, negate the activation, and if you do that, destroy that card. If this card is sent from, to the graveyard by card effect, you can add one evolution pill spell from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. We have Steel Swarm Origin. While this card is in the extra monster zone, if a monster would be special summoned from the extra deck to the main monster zone, it must be sp summoned to the zone this card points to. While this card points to a monster, neither player can target it with card effects. Also, it cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Once per turn, when a monster on the field is destroyed by battle or card effects, you can special summon one level 4 or lower Eye Swarm monster from your deck in defense position up to the number destroyed. That's very interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about it. We have DD Seeker, Base Gardener, and Boral Cooling. Another Tindangle de la Nuri, Bit Trooper. Trading places. If your life points are higher than your opponents, switch your life points with your opponents. Clara and Rushka, the Ventral Low Duo. One normal summoner set monster cannot be linked summoned except during main phase two. <laughs> I'm honestly. Like, I mean, I guess on the one hand, this gives you something to do with the stuff where, you know, okay, you get the monster for free, but it's destroyed at the end of the turn, it has no effects. I mean, I guess this gives you something because you can use it to start chaining uh, links, but do a little ch Chimera. All fire monsters on the field gain 500 attack and defense. All water monsters on the field lose 400 attack and defense. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can target one fire monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. Another recovery sorcery. FA City Grand Prix. Die Dance. Choose one opponent's unused main monster zone. If your opponent would normal or special summon a monster to their main monster zone and the chosen zone can be used, they must use that zone. They cannot, special, they cannot summon multiple monsters to their main monster zone while this effect is applied. This effect applies until the zone is occupied or becomes unusable. You can only apply the effects of Die Dance once per duel. <clears throat> I, I do like this just for shutting down, uh, oh, what was it, Re cards like Return from the Different Dimension where you know you could just easily flood the board with uh, 
banished monsters and things like that. And Euler Circuit. We have Secure Gardna, Sumo Spirit, Call of the Arc Fiend, Tindangle Intruder, There Can Be Only One, Metal Rocket Dragon, Tindangle Protector, Flick Clown, and Base Gardna. Another Sumo Spirit, Showdown of the Seven Cent Scroll Techniques, Stripping Partner, Vendred Battle Lord. You can ritual summon this card with any Vendred ritual spell. You can banish one Vendred card from your graveyard and declare one type of card, monster spell or trap. For the rest of this turn, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects of that type. If this ritual summoned card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one ritual monster from your deck to your hand, and if you do, send one Vendred monster from your deck to the graveyard. You can only use each effect once per turn. That seems uh, quite a nice effect. Vector Scare Archfiend. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can tribute one monster that this card points to. Special summon that destroyed monster to any zone this card points to. If you special summon to your opponent's field by this effect, this card can make a second attack during the battle phase, although your opponent gains control of that special summon monster. Huh. Link Belt Wall Dragon, Mech Knight Green Horizon, Tindangle Acute Cerberus, and Parthian Shot. We have Karate Spirit, Flame Administrator, Tindangle de la Nui. Bit Trooper, Indigo Eclipse, Mystical Best Bestia Morph, Link Belt Wall Dragon, Neck Knight Green Horizon, and Tindangle Acute Cerberus. We have another Mahjong Munia Maidens, Bit Trooper, Zombino. Vendred Core. If this card is in your graveyard, you can banish one other zombie monster from your graveyard, special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. A Vendred Monster Ritual Summoning using this card on the field gains the following effects. You can only use each of the preceding effects once per turn. Your opponent cannot target this card with card effects. Honestly, not sure how I feel about this one. Because it does give a nice effect to... Uh, Vendred Ritual Monsters, but... I mean, it's easy enough to bring out so you can add it on, I guess. And, I mean, it's not like you don't care if your uh, zombies are in the graveyard, usually. We have another World Legacy Key. Oops. Target one card you control, destroy it. I know this one actually has a decent amount of use with uh, cards that trigger on destruction. F.A. Auto Navigator, Boral Cooling, and another Link Belt Wall Dragon. Have another Trading Places, Tindangle Hound, Showdown of the Se Secret Scent Scroll Techniques, Stripping Partner, Downbeat, Mythical Beast Basilisk. If you have no cards in your other Pendulum Zone, you can destroy this card, and if you do, shuffle one face-up spellcaster's Pendulum Monster from your extra deck into your main deck, except Mythical Beast Basilisk, then draw one card. You can only use this effect once per turn, and each time a spell card is activated, place one spell counter on this card. When, this card, when that spell resolves, you can remove three spell counters from your field, return one Mythical Beast from your Pendulum Zone, or face-up from your extra deck to the hand, you can only use this effect once per turn. We have Parthian Shot. Oops. 
and F8 Auto Navigator. Actually, just looking at the uh, artwork on this, it, it the, uh, the the way the demon in the background is acting and pointing at the Hades almost reminds me of uh, oh, what was it? Was it Wife Swap where they had the uh, mom that uh, the incredibly Christian devout mom that uh, freaked out and you know was declaring herself as a god warrior and things like that because the family that she was with was, uh, that, uh, she was sent to be with was, uh, it, it wasn't even, I don't even think they were pagan or anything like that. I think it was, like, it, it was just like, oh yeah, like, they had a teenage daughter that was going through, like, a goth phase and things like that. It, it was so incredibly dumb. I, I would... It, it's actually kind of painful to watch if I remember correctly, so I, I wouldn't recommend looking it up. You can if you want. It was a meme for a while, but it, it was just such a dumb episode. But for some reason, the card art reminds me of that. All right, so we have Artifact Mjolnir, Cyanet Refresh, Tindangle Hound, Isold, Two Tales of Noble Knights. If this card is Link Summoned, you can add one warrior monster from your deck to your hand, but for the rest of this turn, you cannot normal summon or set or special summon monsters with that name, nor activate their monster effects. You can send any number of equipped spells with different names from your deck to the graveyard. Special summon one warrior monster from your deck whose level equals the number of cards sent to the graveyard. You can only use each effect once per turn. Glory of the Noble Knights. Grappler Angler. Die Dance. Parthian Shot, and Lockout Gardena. When an opponent's monster declares a direct attack, you can special summon this card from your hand in attack position, and if you do, it cannot be destroyed by battle this turn. When an effect of a monster your opponent controls is activated that targets one Cybrus monster you control and no other cards, you can negate the effects of both that Cybrus monster you control and the opponent's monster until the end of this turn. Huh. I mean, just the fact that it gives you a wall that you can throw down and at least minimize uh, damage that you take is pretty nice. We have FA Motorhome Transport. Gains attack equal to its level times 300. Each time an FA spell or trap card or effect is activated, you can increase the level of this card by 1. This card gains the following effects based on its current level. Level 11 or higher cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. 13 or higher, once per turn, you can target one FA monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. What level is it anyways? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I mean, it's starting out at level 9. So that's, what, 2700 attack. Um, the field spell would bump it up to 11. If you activate the field spell after this is on the field, I'd bump it up to 12. Yeah, so I mean, that's uh, not too bad. Artifact Mjolnir, Secure Gardna, Nick Knight Orange Sunset, Overtex Qualtus, Mythical Beast Jackal. If you have no cards in your other Pendulum Zone, you can target one face-up card you control that you can place a spell counter on, destroy this card, and if you do, place but one spell counter on that card. You can only use this effect once per turn. And each time a spell is a, a card is activated, place one spell card on this spell. Place one spell counter on this card when that spell resolves. You can remove three spell counters from your field and tribute this card. Special summon one Mythical Beast effect monster from your deck except Mythical Beast Jackal. I mean, decent enough. Boral Cooling, Link Belt Wall Dragon, and Grappler Angler. We have Column Switch. Nagel's Protection, Tindangle Delonry, Mythical Beast Medusa. If you have no cards in your other Pendulum Zone, you can target one monster in your, your graveyard that you can place a spell counter on, destroy this card, and if you do, special summon that monster, and if you do, place one spell counter on it. Hmm. You can only use this effect once per turn. And each time a spell card is activated, place one spell counter on this card. When that spell resolves, once per turn during the battle phase, Quick effect, you can remove two spell counters from your field. 
Then target one face-up monster on the field. Its attack and defense becomes half its current attack and defense until the end of this turn. That's not a bad effect. F. Kill Fort to Genius. This Link Summon card is unaffected by spell or traps and the activated effects of other Link monsters. Once per turn, you can target one face-up card on the, each player's field, except this card. Both those cards have their effects negated until the end of this turn. When two monsters are special summoned at the same time to the zones this card points to, you can add one level 5 or higher machine monster from your deck to your hand. Huh. I have DD Seeker, Underclock Taker, Ghost Trick Renovation, and another Beast Gardener. Tindangle Intruder, Stripping Partner, Munia Maidens, Tindangle Angel, Altergeist Manifestation, Yellow Star, Die Dance, Parthian Shot, and Lockout Gardna. Flame Administrator, Tindangle Intruder, Test Run, Mythical Beast Master Cerberus. If you have no cards in your other Pendulum Zone, you can destroy this card, and if you do, add one level 7 or lower Mythical Beast Effect Monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. And each time a spell card is activated, place two spell counters on this card when that spell resolves. Not bad. Cannot be destroyed by, battle, by card effects while four or more spell counters are on your field. Once per turn, you can remove four spell counters from your field, then target one monster your opponent controls, banish it face up. And if you do, this card gains attack equal to the banished monster's original attack until the end of the opponent's turn. Huh. That's uh, quite good spot protection, or, or uh, spot destruction. Shell Rocket Dragon. When a Link monster's effect is activated that targets this face up card on the field, quick effect, you can destroy this card, then destroy one monster in the column this card was in. And if you do, destroy any monsters in that card's adjacent zones. During the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard, because it was destroyed by on the field by battle or card effect and sent to this turn, you can special summon one rocket monster from your deck, except sh Shell Rocket Dragon. You can only use each effect once per turn. I mean, that's uh, quite good for clearing out uh, your opponent's board quickly. You have Euler Circuit, Green Horizon, World Shield, and Recovery Sorcery. Sorcerer. We have Watt Kinetic Puppeteer, Motor Home Transport, Bit Trooper, FA Test Run, Altergeist Hext Hextia, Gains attack equal to the original attack of each Altergeist monster it points to. When a spell or trap is activated, you can tribute one Altergeist monster this card points to, negate the activation, and if you do, uh, destroy that card. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one Altergeist card from your deck to your hand. You can only use each effect once per turn. You have Do Little Chimera, DD Seeker, Underclock Taker, and Ghost Trick Renovation. And last pack. Another Call of the Archfiend, Tindangle Angel, Watt Kinetic Puppeteer, Mythical Beast Jackal King, artwork on him kind of reminds me of, uh... oh I cannot remember his name now, uh, the, in, uh, the webcomic, uh, Gunner Craig Court, uh, the uh, Guardian of the uh, Forest. Don't think it was Hyena. Don't think his name was Hyena. But uh, very much the same sort of crazy dog look to him. 
If you have no other cards in your Pendulum Zone, you can destroy this card, and if you do, Special Summon 1 Face-Up Mythical Beast mo Pendulum Monster from your extra deck, except Mythical Beast King Jackal, you can only use this effect once per turn. Each time a spell card is activated, place two spell counters on this card while that spell resolves. Once per turn when an opponent activates a monster effect, you can remove two spell counters from your field, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that card. So, that's not bad. I mean, it's literally just every time you play a spell, you can immediately uh, you immediately get the counters you need to for that effect, so you don't need to wait to, or spend multiple cards. <laughs> oh, excuse me. We have... Master King Archfiend. Once per turn, during your standby phase, pay 500 life points or destroy this card. Once per chain, if you pay life points except during the damage step, you can send one Fiend Monster from your deck to the graveyard with attack or defense equal to the amount paid. Once per chain, if a Fiend Monster is sent to the graveyard, you can roll a six-sided dice and apply one of the following effects. One, add it to your hand. Two, three, four, five, shuffle into the deck. Six, special summon it. We have Flip Clown, Fire Prison, FA City Grand Prix, and Parallel Port Armor. So that's it for this week's uh, video. If you like the video, please you know like, comment, subscribe. You know the routine. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later.